Welcome to the PCB123 design tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to be showing you how to convert version 2 designs to version 3. We'll start with this version of version 2.1 PCB123 and to show the design as we start we'll just drag and drop our finished version 2 design into the version 2 PCB123 application. And we can see the design looks like this. Now, to make it as easy as possible to do the conversion, the first thing we'll do with the version 2 design is reset the factory display defaults. And then we'll save the new defaults, the new display properties, to disk. It bears noting that in version 2.1 you really only have layout editing capabilities at your disposal. The schematic editing capabilities are handled in a separate tool, the PCB123 schematic tool. Now let's go ahead and close out our 2.1 environment. And behind it I of course have already installed a and, it, and activated a version 3.3 application for PCB123. We'll take that finished V2 design and we'll drag and drop that into the version 3.3 environment. And there you have it. You can see that the layout is fully converted, just as easy as that. Note though that across the bottom in 3.3 we have some additional tabs, not just the layout tab and the 3D view tab, but we also have a schematic tab as the layout was converted from version 2 to version 3, version 3 did create ad hoc schematic components to duplicate the electrical network found in the layout. If there were symbols already defined for the part used, then the schematic will use that symbol. If not, the schematic will make up a symbol using a bit slice representation all of the pins have been correctly attached as specified in the layout. Uh, the representation here by default uses global net connectors. That allows you as the designer to organize and compartmentalize the functions of your design onto appropriately meaningful multi-sheet environments and then do the network connections as appropriate for you. But we did capture the actual electrical information and you would be able to run this out as a netlist if you needed to. Also under the bill of materials you'll notice that we do have all of the parts specified and if those parts in the library had already been defined with digikey part numbers, those part numbers would show here. You can fill them in afterwards if you prefer manually as well. in order to make a part number right here inside the live bomb uh, environment and then allow you to check pricing or order those parts directly. So that's it. It's as easy as this to convert your version 2 designs to version 3. Thanks for watching. Happy designing.